We are at uh, 1404, 1406 here, and I think these are the 1405 uh, quadplex, it looks like. A, B, C, D. Up there. Go, go check it out. like it all got painted pretty nice. Got an apartment complex behind. There's a there's a bunch of these other properties. Yeah, it's interesting to see these HVACs without a cage on it. Um, definitely probably is a pretty nice, halfway decent area to know that nobody's gonna steal them. And here are the neighbors, the ones right here. And, uh, looks like a nice solid little property, uh, not too much street traffic and yeah, that's it. The 4926 house. Uh, it's almost at the corner of this closed loop cul de sac here with a bunch of quadplexes in this area. I don't know, if, I mean, all the buildings look very similar, but I don't know if they're all owned by the same people. Uh, you know, if you look about a quarter mile or half a mile down this road leading in, this is the only way in. There's a bunch of very similar properties. Um, one, one or two of them sort of looked a little blighted to me, um, but it's hard to say, right? Like it's it's about noon time, and I would think a lot of these people are actually at work. Uh, so let's take a walk to this property. HVACs are not caged, so that's a good sign. And I would call this overall a definitely a B class area. Um, definitely feel safe here. Yeah, a lot of ch churches leading up into this area. There's the park parking lot. I don't know how the drainage is here, but if I were to point out anything, maybe it's just, I don't know, maybe a trench drain would be good about here. So here's the the other quadplexes in the cul-de-sac. Not bad area. We are in Quadplex City. I haven't seen this many quadplexes in my life. Uh, this is 1426. It looks like it got, um, they're doing a bunch of rehab. Uh, the deck looks like it got painted a few years ago. They're definitely doing some work on it as you can see today. Um, but you know, you always look at the next door. You know, these guys, very similar. It's probably the same buyer same seller but they replaced the deck on this one um, this whole street this whole like two mile or four mile radius is just full of these quadplexes I think they sell everything in fours here um, it's probably all owned by a same person and this is the property management company circle 25664 684 8731 they have property management over all this stuff and a lot of the other stuff i saw in driving around the area but again this is the subject property 
the roof looks nice. There's a little wavy in this area, if you can kind of see it. And not a not a big deal. Uh, parking lot looks fine. There's this this root thing going on here that you probably got to address in the next five to ten years, but not a big issue. It looks like they're, you know, they're fixing it up. They're obviously not going to put that much nice stuff in it, but it looks like a definitely a good turnkey. Six parking spaces. Definitely a quiet street. And what I like about Bur uh, Alabama and Georgia and some of these more rural areas is that you know, the, you know in the back of the houses it's not like it goes to another house there's like a usually a fence or a tree line as you can see back there and you also have behind the subject property here so it just think it definitely gives it a neighborhood feeling um you, know, you got this is a definitely a b-class area people throwing mattresses and and uh furniture whatever but overall, I call it a pretty solid area. All right, this is what I like to do, and it's usually a little uh, dangerous. I like to drive around a little bit and get you to the main drive that's closest to here to get a sense of what's in the area. Uh, obviously, you don't, you don't like to see the gas station everybody's selling drugs get to the end of the street here you got the church there was a church on the other side um, which way shall we go some of the duplexes look a little empty or quadplexes look a little empty we'll drive up here and get a sense of hope I'm going the right way to where the, the action is there's that church here um, here's that apartment complex that you probably want to look at to get comps. This is on John Wesley Avenue. Uh, and then another one is Highland Apartments. I would get a rate sheet from them. And then across the street here, this is is Executive Lodge. I don't know if that's a hotel or motel. There's the Fuel City and another gas station. So here's the main street. Um, there's a big apartment complex coming up across the street. And now we're going on Sparkman. I'll try and grab that Summer Tree Apartments. That's probably a very good comp right there. Uh, but this is you where you come on a Friday night, I guess, if you want to hang out here. This is the uh, local big box area. And that's the one of the, the nearest highway right there. Let's see what we got here. You got Papa John's. Like, you need your quick credit. Dollar General. Surplus, surplus warehouse, all the makings of a Class B, C area. Oh, you got a trampoline area. That's kind of nice for a Class C area. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think it, as long as you don't see any like lighted areas, like some of the places that I was at the last few days, I think it's you know, definitely not a bad area. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, and this, that's University Drive up there, just to get a sense of where you're at. All right, talk to you later. All right, we're out here at 2220. So you've got, you're on that main street in the back, quadplex, or maybe an eightplex? But there's a lot of other eightplexes or quadplexes in this quality sack. Not a bad place, I'd say it's, this is more of a B minus. 
definitely not a B plus. go to the main street which is pretty close to the main street dumpsters full there's another wind terrace apartments nearby and then it goes up on the main street So you're right off the, that Winchester Main Street and there's a cul-de-sac with, and once again, a lot more quadplexes. I think this neighborhood's a lot better than the last one. A um, lot more of a single family home neighborhood. Uh, this is a pretty busy highway but it's not like the main highway um, this is the only thing that kind of is concerning with this property it's um, behind this not so great looking uh, station and I bet this is where you go get your drugs at night These are kind of funny. I've seen these a lot. So this is behind the back, back of the gas station. pretty good this driveway is kind of beat up a little bit I think this is the way this is the way uh, the residents come in That's it.